Hello, um, blessings to all of you. My name is Horacio Mesonis and I'm working in CREAS, that uh, stands for Regional Ecumenical Center for Advice and Service in, in Argentina, in Latin America, and I'm also a member of the Partner Council. Uh, first of all, a word of gratitude to the United Church of Canada for organizing this consultation with the Partner Council to reframe its global partnership program and for reaffirming the principles and practices of partnership in the new strategic plan. This follows the discussions and the decisions made in the General Council 43 and 44 to which um, we members of the Partner Council have been part of, uh, have been participating in the discussions and all the processes in the, in the church. Uh, regarding this uh, document, the criteria and the recommendations presented aim at strengthening the mission in partnership and the dialogue with churches, ecumenical organizations and civil society to respond to the urgent challenges of our time. This means a commitment in prayer, radical accompaniment by the UCC to global partners and a shared prophetic voice to bring justice and peace to this wounded world. We partners are aware that these are difficult times, both in political and economic terms, and we acknowledge and thank the effort made by the UCC in this context to work in a living testimony to revert injustices. We have expectations that the new strategy and the instruments presented in the document are implemented in order to strengthen the mission in partnership and mutuality. So again, uh, my personal thanks to, to the church for uh, strengthening this relationship and partnership and we expect to visit and meet the local congregations and communities of faith soon. Uh, greetings to everybody. And uh, really, uh, my name is Samar Laham. I'm representing the Middle East Council of Churches. Uh, we at the Council uh, have been enjoying a, a standing uh, partnership with the United Church of Canada for many years. Uh, we were very much really uh, blessed and uh, happy to, to accompany, let's say, uh, some staff of uh, United Church of Canada those who are responsible to strengthen the relationship between the United Church and the, let's say, different partners in this world to accompany a revision, revision journey for the, let's say, uh, report that would be submitted to the administration of United Church of Canada concerning, let's say, the strategic uh, steps towards, uh, let's say, future uh, uh, partnership and how such partnership can be strengthened in a way to build up more, uh, let's say, in depth the relationship between United Church of Canada and the variety of partners in this world. Uh, during the discussions, we were able to cover a lot of points to acquire about, let's say, issues that really can be uh, reviewed by, 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 by the administration of United Church of Canada and at the same time, Really, we liked very much, let's say, uh, the future ideas and perspectives in terms of how really the partners can be much more closer, let's say, to decision making and also to know, first to know each other, let's say, and also to be much more closer to the United Church of Canada. Of course, uh, we know that we are coming from different continents, we from different traditions, but uh, really what we felt that really is the word of God really join us and unite us because even if we are different churches and different traditions living in different contexts but really nobody really can bargain on that on on the reality that we are all belonging to one body of christ so we look forward to that really to receive your impression about this report the consolidated report be sure that really we are ready to accompany you in all aspects of your life uh, as well as we expect the United Church of Canada to accompany us also at the same time, because the base, the principle of partnership, the principle and the basis of partnership is really to feel and to live that really we are all uh, branches, let's say, in the, vein, in the veins of, let's say, whose head is Jesus Christ. So thanks a lot for such opportunity and God bless all of you.